bad when you commit a sin. Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah said something very powerful about the sick heart versus the dead heart. He said that if you feel bad when you commit a sin, then know that that's a sign that your heart is still alive. Because you wouldn't feel anything if your heart was dead. Part of our fitrah is that when we commit that sin, it shouldn't, you know, backbiting shouldn't taste right. You know a person who's not used to backbiting, when they backbite, it tastes bad. Literally tastes that, that dead, filthy uh, meat. It tastes rotten. It just doesn't have a good taste and you don't feel right about it. And that's good, you have to capitalize on that. A person who doesn't, who's not used to watching haram, right? When they see something, because it's inevitable in today's world that things pop up in front of their eyes, it doesn't look right, it doesn't feel right. It felt off. That's a sign that your heart is alive, right? Because if it was dead, you wouldn't feel it when you committed that sin. So that's the first thing. When it comes to the sin, it's important that you don't lose your fitrah and don't let sins become so normalized in your life just because, just because they become normalized in other people's lives. Don't let it become normalized in your life because it's become normalized in everybody else's life around you. And the second thing here about a, 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 a sick heart, so that's how you know that your dead heart to sick heart, sick heart to healthy heart, Ibn al-Jawzi rahimahullah said, the sick heart cannot taste the sweetness of its ibadat, just like when a person is sick, they don't taste the flavor of their food. They know they have to eat to nourish themselves and to sustain themselves, but the sweetness, the taste of the food is gone by the illness. Likewise, when it comes to the heart, if the heart is sick, the ibadat cannot be enjoyed. So I have to ask myself, kalla bal rana ala qulubihim ma kanu yaksibun, or um, what are the stains and locks on my heart that are not allowing my heart to enjoy these ibadats, to enjoy these acts of worship? So part of it is the training yourself on the new good deeds and aspiring to another level in your good deeds and producing that output. And part of it is asking yourself, you know, what is it that's really holding me back? Because if I'm not tasting the sweetness of it, something's wrong. And I need to, that's not something that a sheikh can tell you, by the way. You don't have a priest that you can go to or a sheikh that you can go to to diagnose you. You have to have moments of introspection and ask yourself, you know, what is it that's really holding me back from enjoying and tasting the sweetness of what I have? <laughs>